I've been working on this little project in my free time and my off hours, and I thought I'd make this little video to share my progress. I would say it's part prototype, part tech demo, and part aspirational to give us a vision for where Star Atlas can go in the not too distant future. What you're about to see is a solar system scale map. We can travel seamlessly across it without any hiccups or loading screens. And of course, this is just single player, offline. I have no doubt it will be a lot of work to get this working at scale, but I still wanted to give you guys a little taste of what is currently possible in Unreal. So that planet you see there is about 1 20th the scale of Earth, about 300 kilometer radius. There is no technical limitation to make the planet's actual size, it's more of a gameplay and production decision. So it might change in the future, this is really just to test out scale. Three, two, one, engage. So I just engaged my warp drive. If you look at my speedometer, you'll see I just switched from meters per second to kilometers per second. So we're using a plugin called Worldscape to generate these planets. Whether we stick with it long term remains to be seen. There are a couple other promising projects in the work that look better to me, but are currently unreleased. Either way, I am confident that we will have full-size planets one way or another. So you will probably recognize this location. This is our bot battle arena. I just made a copy of the map, I stripped out all the things like the sun and the skybox, the terrain, etc. And I just added it as a sublevel, and it works. You can imagine this is a mission the player took to clear some pirates out of a base or hunt down a wanted criminal. So there's a reason why this base is placed right on the North Pole, and that's because one of the major pieces we'll need to get this to work is directional gravity. Anywhere but the North Pole, and you just fall off the planet. But I'm sure our resident physics wizard Frank will get it sorted no problem. Pretty hot, better get back to the ship. Gotta give a quick shout out to my brother for writing this music. I did not ask permission to use it, so don't leave this. Three, two, one, engage. So here we are in the Helios system. That is a system I just made up. It currently has four planets and two moons, among other things. There's Hephaestus, which is a lava planet. And Athena, way out on the edge of the system, is an ice planet. 
The whole system is about a half a million kilometers across. But again, we could certainly go bigger. It's more of a question of how big is big enough for gameplay purposes. So these orbit lines I put in, they really help orient the player as they navigate the system. And I think it also matches nicely with the Sage aesthetic. I'm going to set course for Aphrodite, our gas giant. You can see I'm now traveling at over 2 megameters or 2,000 kilometers per second. And here we are at Oni CSS. Uh, we didn't just change maps or anything like that, no trickery. The whole station is really just here floating in space. Even in white box, I love this thing. The team did such a great job on it. Now I could land here and get out if I wanted to, but there is one last thing I wanted to show you guys. So yes, we're headed to a jump gate, part of the star path. Not to spoil the magic, but what will happen under the hood when I enter it is that this solar system will be unloaded and a new one will be loaded in. But I like to think that I will travel light years in a matter of seconds to a neighboring star. And here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this vision of just a small part of what Star Atlas can be. I'm honored to be a part of the team and I can't wait to make this vision a reality. I hope you all have a great break and I will see you next year. God bless.